Okay. Um, we're not doing a little fancy intro because you guys kind of already know what's going on. And we're leaving off directly where we left off last episode. Except that I can't go back in time and call the entire alliance. So we're just going to keep the alliance here. And basically, they're leaving everything as is. But I'm going to switch the colors around because... Yeah. So we have Africa, right? Well, we have an entire African alliance. Also, right? So what if by some for some reason a world war uh, another world war started? because of um, a situation in Africa. Yeah. So let me just give you details of the situation in Africa right now. So essentially, <coughs> everybody in Africa is united under one uh, um, alliance, which essentially acts like an authoritarian regime. The head of the alliance is over here in Morocco, and they have big plans, but we have Syrian troops, well, technically Kokeskan, Kokeskan troops, yes, I am adding Kokeska in this final episode, and these guys, um, pushing the Lebanon and, Lebanon and Jordan, Yes, I do know the names of the Middle East countries. And essentially, now we have a full push in from the Saudi Arabian front. front and guess who rebels? Israel. Why? Because they want independence. And they're going to get it. As they then agreed that Israel would be independent, Lebanon would be transferred over to the um to the Red Team, and the Jordan split happened. And now, boom. World War over. <coughs> and it lasted about a couple of hours. Oh, wait, sorry, just kidding. Um, so basically, we just fill you in on the situation. Um, Israeli troops invaded Palestine and took this land that was for some reason colored the opposite color. The rest of Jordan is invaded, and Jordan capitulates, and then Jordan is reunited with itself, and essentially, oh yeah, uh, I forgot to do the switch of it for them, and now we have a whole nother world war happening, and I don't know what world war this is, but we have a lot of combat over here and we have a naval landing over here in Atreya and Atreya is quick to surrender. Djibouti is then captured and we're not going to make this bigger because guess who's rebelling? Somaliland. And they, they, then, they then push into Somalia and Ethiopia yeah, where was I? Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, troops are just pushing into Somalia and Ethiopia, and we then have this place getting surrounded, and boom, and then Ethiopia capitulates along with Somaliland. The weird Kenya thing is being taken, and boom, Kenya's. 
Kenya just decides to not exist. And now it's just Tanzania. Which, oh, well, no, not Tanzania. Um, Uganda. I was looking down here and then I said Tanzania. It's like when the teacher calls you somebody else's name and then yells at you because you're not responding. Anybody else's teacher does or did that? Mine does that all the time. It's not fun. Anyways, um, we then have South Sudan being taken and the first betrayal being made of the African alliance that's not made by peace deal. Sudan decides to betray the alliance, mainly to push into South Sudan. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about the almost 40 minute break. Siblings wouldn't stop arguing. And that's just siblings. It was a little annoying. Anyways, um, we have South Sudan just capitulating, and Chad just kind of falls over to the to the um, red team's hand in the matter of um, days, weeks, seconds, hours. Anyways. Now you can see this front pushing out and Chad surrenders. We then have a push in through the Central African Republic. And we have a... <coughs> sorry. We have a new front being drawn. So basically, they're going to go down here and then refocus everything and go boom. And so they begin doing a little bit of movements. Bop, bop. And a little bit of that. Central African Republic surrenders. And we have the Republic of the Congo surrendering. We have a Cameroon being the northern half of Cameroon being taken. And boom. We then have a pushover towards Lagos. And boom. And yeah, they then decide to that they want to abandon this front and just go and cram as many troops as they can in the Niger and then just oh well they eventually do that basically the whole plan is to cut Libya out from the cut Libya in Africa I mean, Egypt, I don't know why I said Africa, away from the rest of the alliance. And we have Morocco sending in heavy troops and starting to reclaim parts of Niger. <coughs> we then have them pushing into um, Nigeria with little success. And eventually, Niger is fully um, reinstated. We then have a little bit of a thing right here. And now the blue team draws a new front. They then head to Spain and begin to conquer things. Portugal then rebels. And yeah, so you, you remember how um, everybody thought, well, uh, you probably thought um, this would be an easy victory for the red team. Well, it's proving to not be. And the coastlines are then recaptured. And a strategic... Um, they decide that they are to sign a peace treaty soon. <coughs> and they are willing to give up half of the alliance in order for peace. Just kidding, as we have more and more of Africa being taken, we then just have 
we have more and more southern Africa being taken. We have a starving attempt forming over here. And boom. These Moroccan soldiers then push through the United Cameroon. And then through the um, DRC puppet. Or the just the Congo. And boom. They have now been able to reinstate a lot of African states into back into the, um, this war and we then have a quick recapturing of um, Chad and over here up north we have the capturing of Vichy France and Italy then rebels We then have troops pushing into Switzerland. Switzerland falls. And we have the great pushback of the African um, war. And I don't know which world war this is because I haven't been keeping track. Because why would I? I'm just checking to make sure this commentary well, not commentary, because I'm actively, you know, in the moment right now. Uh, I'm just making sure the video wasn't paused. We have Benayan Moran Rwanda being liberated along with Tanzania. And we have a campaign. And essentially... They begin pushing more and more Af um, their team, or just, what did I call them? Common turn troops out of the DRC, and we have Central African Republic being fully united. And the vet team begins to worry a little bit, because France is falling. And they don't have many troops stationed in Europe. Oh, look. UK just rebelled. And, oh, oh, that's, that's <coughs> not so good. And you can kind of see where this war is turning in the favor, favor of um, the African alliance. And we have um, all of Kenya being pushed into. And we had the re-liberation of South Sudan. And then starting to push into both Somalia and Ethiopia. And we have the full reunification of South Sudan. And while that was happening, they pushed um, common ten troops out of... Um, what was I going to say? out of uh, Libya and we kind of have just the great um, push into Sudan because Sudanese forces were not prepared for anything like this to happen and Sudan then surrenders and now we have a slight um, little thing happening over here and now the last stronghold at least in Africa of any common turn any common turn um, influence is Egypt and Egypt is fully rebelling when we then have them move to Israel and conquered, nearly conquered Jordan, and cap recapture Palestine. They then begin, we then have the Syrian revolution, and boom, Saudi Arabia, and actually the entirety of the Middle East is aligned on one side, because, you know, we kind of had the, this, oh wait, the Gulf Shield. 
kind of died. Um, well, we have these guys choosing to abandon neutrality as essentially everybody else has. I mean, Turkey was invaded. That's how far like, neutrality got them. And we have the push into Ivak and the Ivaki Rebellion. We then have more and more troops pushing into this region. We then have the full capturing of Kokeska and Turkish um, troops are not ready for this and boom. Now we have a peace treaty being drawn. And as you can see from this peace treaty we have some things happening with France and Germany and I will not be updating the alliance map. In fact, let's delete the alliance map. So this is the alliance map that I have now. This is the only alliance map I have now. And boom, deleted too. And oh, you remember this list? There's a lot more now. So basically, we had a huge development on nukes and essentially a lot more countries have nukes now and guess who has nukes too Japan and Turkey and now we look at this and we all wonder, how did we get here? And then you remember, the way we got here was the way we got here. The way we got here was from this map. Comparison? What looks different? Well, a lot. In fact, most of the world is unrecognizable. The only thing that really didn't change is South America. Because they formed the Via Pact, really early. And since we have that, we then, since Switzerland broke the Pact of Neutrality, they are now a giant lake. Lake Swiss. And what we have here is the completed map. This is what 15 episodes brings you. Now, I don't know what year it is, but in this video, after a couple of years of this piece, the aliens ate will invade and that's why I'm gonna leave it off so have a good day goodbye